Hi everyone, welcome to Start a School Crochet. Today's tutorial will be how to do a single crochet two together. This stitch comes in handy for a lot of projects. If you want to do a decreased stitch, you want to make a triangle, you want to make things a little bit tighter, or you just want to draw up your project at the end or shaping your armholes. There's so many applications to do a single crochet two together and they're also used in amigurumi stitch. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe if you haven't already and hit the little bell button to be notified of all my future stitch tutorial videos and free crochet pattern tutorials. So grab your hook and your yarn and let's get started. To start foundation single crochet eight or chain nine, single crochet in the second chain from the hook and across for eight single crochet total. Pause the video if you need to. So far I've crocheted two, four, six, eight. I'm going to chain one, turn my work, and then I'm going to work decreased stitches across the entire length of my project. So single crochet two together is a decreased stitch and you're going to bring two stitches and create just one stitch out of your two stitches. So I'm going to start in the very first stitch of my row and then work across creating four stitches out of eight. So I insert my hook into the first stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. So I'll have two loops on my hook. Instead of completing my single crochet, I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up, and then I'll have three loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three, and there I've completed a single crochet, two together. Now I'm going to work another one, pull up a loop, insert my hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. So now I've created two stitches out of four. Then I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. And I'm going to repeat that one more time to close out my row. There I have created my single crochet two together row and I went from eight stitches down to four stitches. So now I have one, two, three, four. What this stitch is good for is it's used in a lot of applications when you want to create, you can create triangles with this. If you keep doing single crochet two together across, you'll create a triangle. And now I've gone from four stitches to two stitches. Chain one and turn. And now I have a little triangle. There's a lot of applications for this stitch. You can also use it when you're working in the round, when you're doing amigurumi crochet patterns. So single crochet two together really comes in handy. It also comes in handy for shaping garments. If you wanna shape your garment, you can shape an armhole with them and there's lots of ways you can use a single crochet two together. And let's do one in the round. So here I'm gonna do another couple single crochets our foundation single crochets as I started. I'm going to work just a few more. And now I'm going to join this and then I'll show you how it is to work it in the round. So I'm going to join with a slip stitch and now I'm going to work these stitches in the round. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to work two, a single crochet two together in the round. I'm going to work into the next stitch. And you'll see what it does in the round is it gathers up your project. And this is used a lot in amigurumi patterns when it says decrease in the pattern, this is what they're talking about. They're talking about a single crochet decrease. So it'll say DEC, and DEC means to do a single crochet two together. Single crochet two together is the official name for this stitch. And 
there's also a way that you can do an invisible decrease. An invisible decrease is where you work into the front loop only of your stitch and it helps kind of hide your decrease stitch just a little bit. And you can see that it's created a small hole and if we were to keep going it would just create a little ball and that's how you do a single crochet decrease single crochet two together i hope you'd enjoyed the tutorial please subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for being here happy crocheting